Hey guys, today I'll be doing a Sony Vegas 12 Pro tutorial. This works with most Sony Vegas versions, so don't worry about it. This tutorial I'll be teaching you how to add fast black flashes. This technique is mostly used in, say, a trap style video. Okay, let's get right into it. First things first, drag your content into the timeline. After you've done so, disable the resample on your clip. So, right click your clip, press switches, and press disable resample. What this does is it prevents the frames from being blended together and creating a bad lock. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the audio from the footage I have and replace it with music. If you don't know how to delete the, f um, the audio from the clip, just simply press U on your keyboard and select the audio and press delete. So press U and press delete and this just deletes the audio and not the actual clip. Okay, so once the audio has been removed, place your music. Uh, once the music has been placed, find the parts where the trap snare comes in and press the letter M on the keyboard to create markers. So let me just listen in. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be loud or not, but you're looking for... Uh, I'll show you when I find it. Okay, so you hear that bit? It's about here. Hear that? It's like... <laughs> It's really weird, but yeah, it's like this. Yeah, so press M on the keyboard once you found the start of it. And at the very end of it, press M again. So this will mark where the trap snare is. So we're going to mark, say, three or four parts where the snare comes in. And I'll be back when I've done so. Okay, so I did four, and I noticed over here, this one's a bit longer, so I'll show you how to do short and long fast flashes. Okay, so now we've marked them. Now insert another video track and place a black solid color on the track. So make sure the video track is above your footage. So simply right click anywhere here or on a video track and press insert video track. Now as you see, it's above our footage, so make sure it's like above your footage and not under it or else you can't see the black flashes. Now go to um, media generators, not video effects, sorry, media generators and click solid color and insert the black solid color. Now as you see it's really long, we will just go to the first part of it with the mouse scroll, zoom in and press the right arrow on your keyboard and press S and that will split the first frame of the black solid color effect. So now you're going to create a fade out. Simply go to the top right corner of the effect and as you see it has a bit of a, a curved kind of icon. Drag that to the very left of your of the effect and now it has a angled line in it that makes it so um, it'll fade it'll fade out and it won't just be black. So as an example like this. So that's the example. It just fades out. That's just the fade out. So once you've created a fade out and it's one frame long, copy it by pressing Ctrl C or right clicking the clip and press copy and then paste it until it reaches the end of the marker. Usually four. Four would be good. Yep, four is good. So then keep pasting it, as you see we've marked it on all of these, paste it until it reaches the end of the marker since we marked the start of the snare and the end of the snare. And then over here, this is a bit longer, so we'll just keep, uh, control V by the way is the paste, if you don't know that, it's pretty common, so I think you'd know. Anyway, once you have this, it should look a bit like this. Oh, it's doing that because, okay, so if it's just looking like this and it's just a black, uh, it's just solid black in your video, go into the project video properties, usually located on the top left of your preview, the little icon, go to frame rate and either 30 FPS or 60, I go to 60, it's a lot smoother. And then press Control B to do a dynamic RAM preview. That basically is a rendered, like slightly rendered preview. So it will give you a good result. 
Okay, so now it'll look like this. You've now created the fast black flash effect. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And I'll see you in my next video. See you guys.